I'm Elizabeth and in this video we're going to talk about how to make a good cover letter in English speaking countries. When applying to a job in an English speaking country, the first thing an employer looks at is your cover letter or introduction letter. This is your chance to impress them and outline your talents and skills. You want to make sure that your cover letter has a good length and is a good format, which makes it easy to read. Let's take a look into what you'll need to do to make the perfect cover letter. First, create an address line. Put your name and address on the first line of the document. Also add in your phone number and email, if you have one. Some people use their own stationery, which has their name and address already printed on the top of the paper. Typically, you'll want to have all of the text in your letter left justified or on the left side. Next, skip a space down and put today's date. It doesn't matter what type of format it is in, just make sure you have the day, month, and the year. Finally, skip another space down and put the name and address of the company that you're applying to. I'm going to pretend I'm applying for a tutoring position at a university. Now it's time for the salutation. If you know the name of the person who will be looking at your application, writing their name is effective. If you don't know who will be looking at your application, writing to whom it may concern is a commonly used salutation. You can also use good day or something formal to express your greeting. The beginning paragraph of your cover letter should state the position you are applying to and maybe a little background about yourself. Adding in a personal touch, like explaining why you want this job, is also a good way to open the letter. For the following part of the letter, you'll want to explain, in one or two paragraphs, your experience that relates to the job you are applying to. Your experiences can include education, previous jobs, or related activities. For example, since I'm applying to become a tutor at a university, I'm going to include my past experience in tutoring students. Don't bother explaining a lot about jobs and experiences that don't relate to the position you're applying to. Those will be included in your resume or CV that you will send with the letter. For example, if I have worked as a dog trainer in the past, I probably don't need to include it in this letter for tutoring. Now it's time for your closing paragraph. Here, be sure to thank the employer for taking the time to read your application. Also state that you will be available for an interview in the future so they know you have transportation and time. Close the letter with sincerely or a similar formal closing statement. Other closing statements can include thank you or sincerely yours. Other closings such as faithfully and truly yours can also be used, and all of these closings will work whether you know the recipient of your letter or not. Now type your name at the bottom of the page, leaving room for your signature if you're planning on mailing the letter. There are several things to keep in mind when writing your cover letter. Let's start with number one. Don't ramble. Including too much information on the cover letter makes employers bored, which isn't a good way to start your application. Keep your cover letter limited to one page unless a company has other specific requirements. Number two, try not to repeat things too many times. You'll want to emphasize why you want the job, but don't overdo it. Number three, look it over. Make sure the content in your letter is easy to read and relative to the company or organization of your application. Number four, fix your errors. Make sure your cover letter is free of errors before sending it off. The best option is to have someone else proofread the text for you. 
However, if you can't, at least make sure you are using a spelling checker on your computer to rule out the obvious mistakes. Number five, keep it formal. Try to stay away from using contractions like don't or can't. Also, anytime you refer to the potential employer by name, be sure to use Mr. or Mrs. to keep your tone formal. Number six, if you're planning on emailing your letter, put the body of the cover letter in the body of the email rather than attaching it as a separate document. Attach your resume to the email. Following these tips will help you form the perfect cover letter and make your job application experience a good one. Now it's time for you to try. Thank you for watching.